Yo, day why? He's cheating on both of them. That's crazy. Today we're helping Amy place her lover to an epic loyalty test. We'll just call him Jay. Now here's the thing though. Jay is not Amy's boyfriend. He's just someone who she matched with on a dating app. But as it turns out, Jay already has a girlfriend. That's right guys, my man's Jay is for the streets. He's in a relationship with a girl. That's crazy, bro. Bro, it's not. Like, I'll never understand why mother cheat, bro. If you thinking about it, if you in the pro leave, bro. Just f leave. Crazy, bro. Like, I'll never understand why people cheat. I could never, bro. Never will be me. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't even want to understand f all that. Girl named Delicia, but talking to other girls like Amy on dating apps. Hey, with you, I'm trying to, you know, see where this goes. I'm not saying we about to fall in love yet, but <laughs> I mean, I love yeah. the thought of that. Well, I mean, we could see where it goes and then go from there. I would love that. Why are That's you trying tough. to steal another girl's boyfriend? <laughs> How dare you? You're a bit for me. <laughs> Man, fuck all that. You feel me? He Fuck all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so me and him, we had been messaging back and forth and like everything was cool. He seemed like literally such a sweet guy. So then I show him to my friend and she was like, wait a minute, my friend Alicia is dating him. I was like, what do you mean dating him? What were your initial thoughts like when your friend told you like, yo, like he has a girlfriend? I was like, welcome to LA. How long were you talking uh... to like this guy? Maybe like a couple weeks. Okay. But I asked him if he had a girlfriend and everything, and you want to know his answer? Nope, no girlfriend, nothing. I mean, he's on dating apps. <laughs> a leg. Did you guys ever schedule anything out? Did you that's tough. That's so weird, bro. Oh, that's so weird, bro. That cheating shit's so goofy. Did you guys ever meet up, hook up, anything? No, we planned a date, but then we didn't actually meet each other yet. Instead of just stop talking to Jay, Amy wanted to get Alicia involved and have them both confront him. She didn't want to be yeah. the one to contact her, though, because she was afraid that Alicia might take things the wrong way or some drama might pop off. So that's yeah. why we decided to contact her instead. We tried DMing her on IG, but she never responded, so we ended up reaching out via a link that she had on her profile. As it turns out, Alicia's like a roller skating dancer and runs a whole business around that. I honestly don't know too much about it, but from the looks of it, there seems to be like this whole scene around that. Anyways, we filled out her contact form and luckily a couple days later, she texted us. We began communicating. Wait, I want to read it. Her contact form and luckily a couple days later, even checked out your page. I'm open. Days later, she texted us. At least thanks for getting back to me. I'm reaching out. Really, I'm sorry for the shitty situation you're in. We began communicating. Yeah, I can move some stuff around. Eating, and we scheduled a meetup. Ken, Ken just went downstairs to go grab her. How are you feeling? I'm a little nervous. Okay, there was a meetup. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you know how girls are, so like. Yeah. I just hope she doesn't cancel because I, I mean, she's already here. But what if she like gets in and she's like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. I feel you. I think she's here. She's here. Hi, Alicia. Alicia was about to meet Amy for the very first time, and even though she was cool with everything that we were doing and understood the situation, you could still cut the tension in that room with a butter knife. How are you feeling? I'm shocked, honestly, uh -huh. that, that this is happening to me. Before we get like even into like the plan or whatever, like is there something you guys want me to get off your chest? Or Alicia, do you have any questions for us? Anything like that? I mean, I guess I just want to hear it from you. Seriously, like you just matched online? He matched with Yeah, here's the thing too. I can understand her like frustration and her being mad at Shorty, you feel me? It, girls do it all the time, but like you gotta you gotta think, bro. She she's single, she doing her thing. You feel me? Be mad at your man's. Cause your man on the fucking website, your man matching with these people, your man talking to these girls. You know what I'm saying? So I can I I could understand the tension if any and frustration and being upset. I, I can understand that coming from Alicia, Alicia, right? But you know, just be bad at your man's. Not Shorty, not Amy. With me, and then he messaged me. But me and him, we <clears> never <throat> like hung out actually at all. Like physically, I've never met him in person. Mm -hmm. So that's the extent of it. It was my friend who recognized you, and then she told me <coughs> that you were dating him. So that's how I found out. I mean, it's just it's just crazy. Like, and how long they've been together, bro? Do you want to read the messages just so like you feel comfortable? I believe you at this point. Okay, because uh, you're more than welcome to I, if you need to. Let's not. I, I believe you. Let's just. 
For lack of a better phrase, I am used to seeing people endure pain, but usually they're the ones that want to set these tests up, so they like see the lies and deceit yeah. coming, you know? Alicia, on the other hand, though, had no <laughs> idea this was going on behind her back. My guess is, is that she was too focused on her business to suspect a thing. And seeing her expression and her- She built that trust with him, bro. Her reaction first- she Built that trust with him, man. You feel me? Not to- Not to protect homie. But maybe he's on these apps and matching with females and talking to other females because she might be too busy. You feel me? Again, not trying to protect him, but that could be the case. I don't know the exact case. I don't know. First hand was heartbreaking. I had so many questions that I wanted to ask her about her relationship with Jay, but seeing how this was still very fresh to her, I decided to hold back and just do what we came here to do. If she wanted to open up, she could, but I yeah. wasn't gonna make her. I already felt so bad asking her to grab B-roll for this video. Look at her expression, it was sad. The fact that like I even put any time in this man, like. Did you have any suspicions or anything that he might've been talking to like other girls or like? Maybe, I mean, always on the phone, but I thought, I didn't really think much of it at the time, but he was always on the phone. Damn, bro. Bro, and Shorty, she's good looking, man. She looked good. You know what I'm saying? Like my boy, what what are you doing? You cheating out here on, on, on a good looking Shorty, bro? She probably holding it down for you, just busy making her money type shit. And like now, I'm like kind of going back through our relationship and, and seeing when he wasn't as attentive. There's probably four or five girls on his roster at this point. I That's crazy. I thought he was as committed as me, but clearly not. With Felicia now on board, all we had to do was have Amy set up a date with Jay and see if he shows up. They both up. look good, Amy bro, kept bro. in touch with Jay, she kept in touch with me, and once she got the green light, we booked a location that would serve as her home. Crazy. Hello? Hey. Hey. What are you up to? Uh, not much, you know, chilling. All right, I just wanted to make sure that you're still coming tonight. Yeah, I'm coming, why? My roommate, she just wanted to know because she doesn't really want to be here when you're here. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'll just text you. All right, cool. Okay, cool, bye. Bye. You think he's actually going to show up? I think so, You think yeah. so? You don't mm -hmm. think there's like a chance that he'll change his mind, like at all? No, no, I, mean, I could try, you never know. Hello? Hey, what are you up to? Not much. Working on some music. You? Uh, I'm just chilling here, just scrolling through Facebook. Oh, okay, cool. I am trying to get into some stuff later on, like dinner. Do you have any plans? I don't know yet. Wow, like. I want to go out for sushi. Can you treat a girl? I mean, what time do you think? Seven, or eight o'clock. Ooh, I don't know if I'm be able to. Honestly, I suppose to help one of my homies with something today. Hmm. All right. If anything, tomorrow though, for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll check in with you then. I gotta go. All right, cool. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> let's just let's do it with jay still uh, said i'm coming over all that was fuck. left to do was set everything up and get into position so this is where you're gonna be hiding chilling reacting watching in live and all that stuff this time ken if things go south you have to not record and help me out we played at the waiting game for some time until amy finally got the Hello. call that we were all expecting yeah i think i'm on fire okay i'm coming all right and this is it sorry sir. damn Damn. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, you want to use the bathroom? Um, yeah, go ahead. It's right around the corner. Despite us being able to go downstairs, we didn't. You see, the night before, Alicia had a last minute change of agenda. Everything is all set. House is booked. Amy says he's on the hook. I mean, okay, so I was thinking about going through his phone and seeing if he's talking. An add on. If He's talking to other girls. I think we should think of a way for Emmy to get it. You will. She wanted to get a hold of Jay's phone and see how many other girls he was talking to, if any. Yeah. So what you been up <laughs> Um, nothing too much. What about you? Not much. Just working on some music, you know, nothing too crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, you know, I've just been watching TV the whole time. Oh, what's this? What you been watching? Perfect match. I've actually been obsessed with it. To break the ice, Perfect we had Amy match. watch a dating show on Netflix. This was so that she could ironically talk about the topic of love with Jay. You want to fall in or what? What's your... I do, but it has to be the right person. Do you have the right person yet? I have, like, an image of what I think I want it to be in my head, but at the same time, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> tall, dark, I don't know. Handsome. I guess we'll have to find out. Does he have braids or is he? <laughs> we don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I think he got braids. I think he has like maybe some brown pants, black jacket. I don't know. It's just me throwing it out there. But yeah. you know, it could be. <laughs> well, what do you think about that? Like, have you ever. I want to know how long they've been together. I don't think he said it. Ever been in love? 
mean, I'm trying to fall in love. I don't be trying. I, I'm trying. <laughs> you know, you can't. I don't think you fall in love on purpose. To know it's gonna find me. Relationships or anything? I'm here with you, I'm trying to, you know, see where this goes. I'm not saying we about to fall in love yet, but I mean, <laughs> I love yeah. the thought of that. Well, I mean, we could see where it goes. I would love that. You ever been in love? Um, yeah, one time. See, I don't know. I think I was in deep like. I don't know if it was love. Deep like? Like really, really deep like. I liked oh. it very, very much. But I don't know if it was love. Yeah, but then what happened there? It fizzled out. That's why I didn't think it was love. So marriage, kids? I definitely want kids. I need some little me's running around. Sounds amazing. Okay. Sounds amazing. What about you? you want kids? Um, yeah, I want kids. How many? Amy and Jay continue making small talk and getting to know each other. Remember, this is technically their first date, so they're talking about things like love, relationships, etc. Well, what do you like to do? Like, what do you do? When we felt the time was right, we then moved on to step one of getting Jay's phone, which was have Alicia give him a call. I mean, that's the one way to do it. I mean, you know, I feel like you kind of got to do it like that. If you're not doing it, then somebody else will do it. Please leave your message for three. We figured that Jay was not going to pick up the phone. I mean, he's on a date with a whole other girl, but that's okay. You see, all we needed him to do was pull out his phone so that Amy could have an excuse to take it away. Can I actually see your phone? For what? I don't know, see you real quick. Okay, for sure. Can I, like, hold it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa, 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 what are you Actually, doing? Actually, I'm going to put our phones over here because I feel like you've been on your phone a lot, and I really just want one-on-one -on -one time with you. Amy successfully places her and Jay's phone out of sight on the kitchen counter, completing step number two. If it rings, you got to you gotta sprint. You got to get it. All that was left to do now was send Ken downstairs to quietly retrieve Jay's phone. You want to do something? <laughs> Boy, master. <laughs> Stealth mode. You want to stay in? I mean, you know, I'm down to do something if that's what you want to do. I mean, I personally don't care, but it's really whatever you want to do. I'm all for chilling in here and kicking it, you know. I'm not opposed. That's kind of what I expected. I didn't plan for us to do nothing. I could watch a movie, so whatever you want. Okay. Down for whatever. My roommate's actually here, though. Really? But she, yeah, she is leaving in a little bit, so. Okay. Maybe we can, like, wait and then we can go up there. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. I'd rather be in my room just because it's a little more comfortable. I'm all for being more comfortable. Will this just grab both our phones? No, but you're good. Which one's this? Which one's this? It's this one. Yeah. Same password. Yeah. He's smart enough to change his password. We wanted to help Elisa get peace of mind, but I'm pretty sure what we were doing here was invasion of privacy, so we decided not to record anything on the phone. At this point, I don't care. I can be invasion, who gives a fuck? Personally, I- Yeah, literally, bro. <clears throat> I don't blame you know? Alicia. I mean, if I were getting played, I'd probably do the same thing. Well, he's got a lot of, like, messages and stuff from, like, a lot of female names. I'm gonna check some DMs. Hold on. So did you come just for Madeline? Like, that's what you... Yeah, for Madeline. Okay, nice. Why are you being so nice, bro? Why are you looking? Even the pictures that he gets through DMs, I'm just like... And he, his responses to it. Even when I go to his recent activities, like... As I said in the beginning, my man's J is for the streets. But one thing Alicia couldn't find on his phone, though, were the dating apps. He went... You think he went that... I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, I've no, heard... No, there are apps to hide your dating There's... apps. I think there are apps to, like, hide your dating apps. And I think like, that's what he's doing. Or he has not tucked away somewhere. I don't know. That's ridiculous. We'll go that far. No, so those two, I think, are the ones that, from the very, very beginning, they stuck together. What are you thinking? I mean, I want to go down there. You want to go but down? With, without the cameras first, I just. Oh, you want to go down there without the cameras? Yeah, like I'll like I'll like stick to like you know our plan. Like I'll say that like you know I'm her roommate, but I'll add in there like I'm her cousin. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I'm gonna Why? have him looking real stupid. Okay. He gonna just be like, wait, what? Just throw all types of shit at him. Okay. Why not? Yeah, I mean, that's what you want to do. How about you just mention you're on camera? Once you mention you're on camera, that'll yeah. be on cue. We'll start heading down the stairs yeah. with all the camera crew and stuff. You like I'm that? Real stupid, yeah. <laughs> Alicia's goal is to make Jay look as dumb as possible. So on top of pretending to be Amy's room. Damn, bro. Oh my god. Ah. Mate, she also wanted to pretend to be Amy's cousin. I have no idea if Jay's gonna buy any of it. But one thing I do know is that you guys better grab them Takis because you guys already know. This Fucking shit's a. gonna be <laughs> Damn. All right, Amy girl, I'm gonna head out. I'll see you tomorrow around 11 or something. What the hell? What the hell? What the fuck are you doing here? 
What the fuck are you doing here? Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 seriously, what the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck? How is this even possible? How is this possible, bro? I live here. <laughs> what are you doing here with my cousin? You do not fucking live, you I live fucking here. I live here. I live here. I just moved in with my cousin. Get the fuck out of here. Me, get the fuck out of here. You get the fuck out of here. What are you doing here? I thought you said that you were like busy as shit. I am busy. Yeah, I can see that. Busy over here trying to fuck my cousin. Cousin, this is not your This is my cousin. fucking cousin, Amy, tell him. Yeah, we're cousins. Exactly. Why are you laughing? You think this was fucking funny? I didn't think he was seeing anyone else. Apparently I didn't think so either, but he's over here trying to fuck my cousin. Who? Y'all funny, man. We funny. You look real stupid right now. What do you have to say for yourself? I don't have shit to say. You ain't got shit to say. There's a lot of people watching you right now, so you want to say something to defend yourself? I don't have shit to say. Are you sure you ain't got shit to say? You've been on camera this entire time. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You don't believe me? You look like a damn fool right now. I didn't do shit. You didn't do shit, you didn't do shit. You, you're trying to get into some shit with my fucking cousin, that's what it is. A lot of people have been watching you right now, and they're gonna know what kind of fucking man you are. Look, hey, there we go, yeah, that's right. Get up all up in there, yeah. No, don't be trying to get, no, 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 go ahead and sit back down. You were all, you know, comfortable and shit. Oh, now you wanna zip up your fucking jacket and go, right? You over it? You over it? You over it? Where's my fucking phone? What, what are you doing? I thought you said you wanted to leave and shit. Where's my phone? Where's your fucking phone? Oh wait, let me see. You know what? Uh, look at this. Your phone, your phone's right here. No, you ain't getting shit back. That's crazy. You know, because I had to go through your phone, I found out that there's actually more people that you've been messaging and shit. Get my fucking phone. I don't care about any of this shit. You don't care about this shit anymore? Let's talk. I'm out. Give me my phone. I don't want to deal with this shit. I'm over wow. this shit. Wow. Piece of shit. Go ahead. Take your phone. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Piece of shit. Waste of time. Call, Be gone. I'm gonna call you. What are you talking about, bro? She don't want you either, gang. You're done. She can't trust you, bro. Shit, no. <clears throat> Piece of shit. He said, I'm gonna call you, motherfucker. He's not, she's not gonna answer. You're done. You're done, gang. That, oh my god, that's crazy, bro. Ah, uh, baby, you need a man. You know, say you need somebody better in your life. You feel me? I don't know, bro. That's that's that's, that's crazy. You know, it's good when UDI post loyalty. I love how Sergio is traumatized from holding the other cheater down without. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for how she handled herself in the situation. So classy. I love how she went out her way to make him look stupid and embarrassed and find out you're getting cheated on via email. That's tough. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> That's so sad, bro. That like, what's the point of cheating, bro? Just fucking leave the person. Just leave, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd say don't fucking cheat. I would say that. But like, if you're already thinking about it and like in the process and like, bro, just fucking leave, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking be single at that point. What are you doing, bro? And that too, you, the, bro, the people cheating make their partners have trust issues. Not shorty is gonna have trust issues with any other man, bro. You know what I'm saying that's unfortunate. That's so fucking unfortunate, bro. <sighs> hey man, let me know what you guys thought. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'm out.